Use local history when Git can't save you. You're in your repo, you add a file. Later, you make some edits, but then you change your mind. You want to revert, but you never committed. Use the IDE's local history on a file when you aren't under version control at all or you're in between commits. Browse each IDE change, see diffs, recover from mistakes. Delete a file by accident? Go to the folder's local history and recover that too. That's the basics. Let's take a deeper look. This is the, oh my goodness, you saved my sanity tip. Sometimes you are in a project that isn't yet under version control, or you've done a lot of work since your last commit. For example, this file is under version control, but as you can see, I've been very busy. I pause for a bit, have some inspiration, and hack away. I delete this paragraph, then ultimately finish the text. But now I want that paragraph back. Git can't help because I didn't commit before hacking away. I could try undo, 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 copy, redo, 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 paste. But that's barbaric. There has to be a better way. And this is going to be one of those things people love about our IDEs. Local history to the rescue. Our IDEs have a built-in facility that tracks revisions for all IDE-initiated changes, whether you're using a VCS or not. Right-click on a file and choose Local History, then Show History. On the left, you get a list of changes detected by the IDE. When you select one, you get a diff, comparing it to the current file contents on the right. As you go through the changes, you see each diff. Like our normal diff viewer, you can apply changes to recover portions. Perhaps you want the entirety of the file at that point in the history. Right click on that revision and choose revert. If a certain revision is known to be in a certain state, right click and apply a friendly label. Next time you go to local history, you'll see that label displayed. That covers changes to a file, but what if you deleted the file and it wasn't under VCS? Go to that file's folder and choose local history. The deletion event is there and you can restore the file. As wrap up, let's see the sequence without the mouse. I'll invoke search everywhere and search for the show local history action. In the local history window, I tab into the old changes panel. Cursor down to the edit, tab to go into the changes, and on Mac, control command right arrow to accept changes. When disaster strikes and VCS can't help you, use the IDE's local history facility to recover individual changes or even deleted files. You can read more about this in the IDE help pages, for example, configuring the local history retention period, and of course, click subscribe if you can, and if you're not too busy. And don't forget to visit this tip in the guide where we help you learn your tools, developer to developer. Thanks for watching.